Hey, what's up? I'm Kim Scogwell and today I got a great episode for you. Today we're gonna take a look at the transform tool in the camera raw converter. It's super powerful and it's one of my favorite tools. Especially if you need to correct perspective on something, you're gonna love this if you don't know about it already. If you like it, please hit that subscribe button and comment below. So here we are back in Photoshop again. And this is just a picture I found online. It had no copyright information on it or no names, no nothing. So thank you to whoever took it. I'm gonna use it to prove a point of my favorite tool inside the camera raw converter. If you look at this picture as a whole, you can tell like the water looks to be running out this way. It's not completely level. These buildings are falling towards the middle of the picture and backwards so to me that's not how i wanted so we're gonna fix this with a very powerful and simple tool in camera raw so let me just delete this layer and since this is one i found online i'm gonna have it as a smart object i always recommend using smart objects because it's non-destructive and we go down here to camera raw i'm gonna zoom out just a little bit and here you can see the same picture this is the same dialog box that comes up if you open a gng or a cr2 file or whatever the nikon's app and this is where you're gonna do most of the magic when straightening up these buildings. So you're gonna use this tool, which is the transform tool. And the first thing I like to do is get on horizon line. So I'm gonna take the edge here where the water meets the concrete and draw it over. It doesn't have to be perfect right away because we're gonna zoom in and adjust after. And now we're gonna get the line of this building here and watch what happens. Something pretty incredible, it's changing the whole perspective. And I'm gonna do the same on this building. There we go. And you have one more guideline you can put in and I'm gonna put it in just to use it. I know nothing's gonna happen, but usually it's good to always use four. Then you know it's gonna be exactly what you want. You can see I hit the edge of that building pretty nicely. So now we're gonna go down here and hit the water just where it touches the concrete. And we're gonna go over here, do the same thing. And you move around in the picture by holding down spacebar. There we go. And we're gonna check this building. We can see we're on the edge of the building there. We're a little bit inside here. So I'm gonna move it out just a touch. Now we're gonna check the first building and that's a little bit on the inside here too, so we're gonna move it out there. We can zoom out and we can see that our buildings stand up straight now. The water looks like it doesn't run out of the picture, so to speak. Just hit enter and you can go back to doing more adjustments here, like putting in some vibrance, some contrast, turning up, taking down shadows, putting in some blacks. And I'm gonna just do a little bit of color correction and we hit okay. I'm not saying that's what I wanna do with the colors, but this is just to show you how it looks like do you think this looks better or does this look better you gotta look away from the sides here because you will have to clone stamp those in or put in composite in more buildings or stuff like that you could i can do it really quickly just undo take that layer delete it go here and get the pen tool and just go over here go down there go down there Make selection, we're gonna use zero on the radius here. Open up, we're gonna copy now. We're gonna do there, paste it in, go to our move tool. And we're gonna place it around there. Okay, we're gonna hit in our layer mask, get the brush tool, get our brush a little bit bigger. We're gonna have black foreground. We need to move it just a little bit more. That's it. Gosh.
Can do that. And we can go past the touch and building. Like so, like so. And then we can go and we can copy in on the other side here. I'm gonna go and take in this entire building again. Make selection, zero, copy it, go up to your empty layer, paste it in, get your move tool. Use arrow keys just to move it right into place, like so. Press enter, put on a layer mask, brush, and paint black. Paint black up in here, and then we're gonna paint white just to hide the skies there. And there we can go. We got the building all sorted. Now I can go down there and just phone stamp. Get some reference points from over here. There. Now we can go over back here, get a new layer and just go like that. And a new layer. And now we can just make a group out of all of these if it let me. Well, you can see we got it all there. And that's very quick and easy way to do this composition or composite. You can see you can still see a little bit of a line up there. So what you need to do, a larger brush on your clone stamp. You just go up there and mark a spot there. And go out again, get a new spot, and then you can just work it out like that. Just go over there, perfect, and there you have it. Mostly, that's a great tool in the Camera Raw Converter, and it's super powerful, and it lets you fix skylines and buildings and make them look right. That's basically it. It's super powerful, super easy to use, and you find it in a Camera Raw Converter, if you ever need to change your perspectives or get your buildings to stand up right or level the horizon, please try out this tool and let me know what you think. I'll see you next time.